She's here for a dental today, have her teeth cleaned. Local veterinarian Dr. Tate Posey and his animal hospital in Palm Beach Gardens was targeted by hackers. I just happened to be sitting in front of my computer when it hit, so I was actually able to shut it down before it contaminated the entire office. His computer locked and a message demanded ransom or their system and files would be gone. They asked for, actually asked for Bitcoin. And I think at the time it was, it really wasn't very much in, in relation to what they're asking for these days, but I think it came to about somewhere three or four thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. But for a local business or someone like you and me, a couple of thousand dollars is a big deal and hackers know it. They don't discriminate. If you have an internet device, if you have an address, they're going to try to expunge and pull data from you. Robert Fellman, the director of PC Professor, says small business owners and everyday people are low hanging fruit to hackers. And pressing a button with artificial intelligence, they can send it out to millions all at the same time. And literally within minutes, there can be a campaign attack that sends emails out that's just hoping that somebody will have a weak moment, will be duped, and click on a link. Then it's up to us not to fall for the scam. And while you think you can identify one, guess what? The scammers are getting much better at it. Like this one from Amazon with their colorful logo making it look legit. What do they want? Like what would someone want from me? They don't know yet until they get in. So the minute they get in and they can pull data out, they're going to try to show that they were there and they're going to try to pretend that they have more information that they, they actually have or they might actually have it. And once they're in, the first thing they do is lock up your information. So you really don't know what they have. And Feldman says that's when you need to act fast. First, call police, get it on the record in case they can perhaps track it. Next, get tech support to see if they can get you out of it. Then remember, do not pay the ransom. He says, hopefully your information's backed up so you can say goodbye to your old computer completely and start fresh. We're only going to see more of these data breaches. We've seen a lot. And that's for small businesses and the everyday person. But how do we prevent it? Change your password frequently. Make it a very unique password and never use the same password twice. For Dr. Posey, things turned out OK. We were up all night working on it, but we were up and running by the next day. And I asked, what is the going ransom for a regular person? Feldman tells me it's between five and eight hundred dollars, which doesn't sound like much. But if they trap hundreds, if not thousands of people and even half of them pay, that's a lot of money. In studio, Aaron Guy, WPBF 25 News.